This was a special year for the professional performers in our area as the pandemic faded. Warren Gerds tells us who stood out in 2022. You know there are certain leaders and certain companies that can be counted on to stand up and deliver. Civic Symphony of Green Bay's artistic director Sung Kyung Graham puts her imagination and heart into her faithful orchestra. In Appleton, Kevin Sudelin is a gift for all the smarts and style he brings to the Fox Valley at its Sterling Symphony. Kent Paulson cuts a huge swath with his flair that includes leading the popular St. Norbert College Knights on Broadway show troupe. Also major is his energizing effect with the Dudley Burley Corral, such as in the Showcase Holiday Pops at Green Bay's Widener Center. Darren Johnson leads Daddy D Productions with his ways of making mirth and musical magic with his quality lineup. At the Broadway Theater in De Pere, Alicia Berder and her gifted Berder players amaze show after show. Right in there among this ambitious group is Michael Sheeks, executive director of the little cabaret that can, time after time, at the Forced Inn in Tish Mills. Dor Shakespeare near Bailey's Harbor is adept in ways of making Shakespeare more exciting and popular. Long-time greatness is continuing at Peninsula Players Theater in Door County, always mounting an enticing show. Unique doesn't say enough for the Jeff Herbst-inspired Northern Sky Theater in Door County for all the massive output of originality, Wisconsin style. Frank Herman's leads Let Me Be Frank's in its flow of locally flavored stories with phenomenal singing, including by his wife, Amy Reamer. Community band leader and play director Micah Yango adds much on many fronts to our quality of life in living here. More about the best among the pros for 2022 is in my column at wearegreenbay.com. Click on community. I am Warren Gerds, local five, critic at large.